name's Corey Weller. We're out here at Superstition in California with Yamaha today, putting in some really good seat time on the YXZ1000R. So I've had a lot of time in this machine since it's been released. Um, very fortunate in that aspect. So uh, a lot of dune time, um, a lot of time in, in modified as well as stock versions, and now recently um, track time as well. Being out here at Superstition is, is really fun actually because there's a, a wide variety of terrain. You know, it's not just desert, it's not just dunes, it's um, a little bit of everything you have. It's a little bit of technical rock crawling and some real tight twisty stuff. Um, there's some really fun long straight leg beds that you can really wrap out the gears and, and feel the power and the RPMs and how everything works with this machine. Um, the washes are really fun, you know, again the four-wheel drive kicks in there and um, you can still break it loose if you want to but it tracks really straight if you want to so again it's just a very predictable machine and this is a great place for us to be out here today. No, actually I, I like to see the colors that um, OEMs come out with. Um, it's it's a fun change up, you know, everybody has, everybody personalizes everything. You personalize your vehicles, you personalize your clothes, you know, your helmet, your gear. So it just makes sense that you're going to want to find a machine that looks the way you want it to look. So um, I think they've done a really good job of coming out with, I, I like the blue and white. I'm a, you know, I, I like the, the blue. It's a gorgeous blue. It's a very clean looking um, color scheme and it's very Yamaha. Um, the orange and black is really cool. I like the, all the black it really sets off the orange. It's very different and there's not a lot of those out so when you see one you know what it is. Um, and I really like the new silver and red. Um, I like the graphics on the side. I think it's it's just very it's just very cool looking. It's um, clean but it really catches your eye. I really like all the colors that they managed to come out with already. Um, I'm waiting for a stealth black unit. I think that's going to be my favorite and who knows you know that'll just give us another reason to come out here and ride. Every time they release new color gotta get behind that wheel and test it out. I'm still really amazed by the, the sequential transmission um, on this vehicle and how easy it is to shift. It's actually very difficult to miss a shift. Um, you know, if you understand how the shift pattern of a sequential, um, it's just, it's intuitive almost. You know, first is forward and everything's back and you can just tap it and um, it makes for really quick, precise shifting, which again just adds to the whole experience of, of it being a, a driver's vehicle and you being a part of that driving experience. We've had a really good start to the season. Um, I think because I've been racing in the SR1 class for four or five years now, uh, that's helped a lot. It's the same shift pattern. It's you know it's a manual too. So jumping into a production version basically of that um, was not much of a jump at all for me. So the learning curve was very short. Um, but yeah, no, it's been great. It, it far exceeded my expectations. You know, everybody heard about it when it first came out, and uh, it's a great vehicle for somebody who likes to be in control and actually have a driving experience um, rather than just be out there for a ride with a steering wheel and a gas pedal. So it's, it's been a lot of fun.